Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1. Today we're going to cover how you can grade a digitally turned in assignment using the Grade Center. First thing you need to do is get into your Grade Center by going to your control panel on the lower left hand side of the screen, clicking Grade Center, and then clicking Full Grade Center so it can load on the right. Now I've already set up an assignment and a student's already turned in that assignment. So, you can check out that tutorial of how you turn in assignment if you're unsure of how that works. But now that you already have the assignment turned in, you'll have an exclamation point appear in the cell for that student. Now by just clicking in that cell, it's going to give you the ability to go ahead and put in a grade. But we haven't really graded anything or looked at anything yet, so that's not what we want. What you want to do is click the double drop down button to the right of the grade and click on View Grade Details. And what this is going to do is open the grade details for that specific assignment in that specific student. Now, depending on how you set up your assignment, you have, may have multiple attempts. And this particular one was set up with a single attempt. So I can tell that it needs grading. It's going to give me that indication here. It's going to give you the information of when it was submitted and at what time. And this little value is just a placeholder because it's, once we put in a grade for this student, it's going to update all the exclamation points with the right grade. Now to be able to go ahead and view the attempt, you just click the View Attempt button. And what this is going to do is bring up the assignment. So the very first thing you're going to look at is what attempt you're looking at. Then you're going to look at the current review of that attempt, as in what attached files they may have given to you or any comments they may have passed on. So you then would go ahead and download that specific document if they pass one on or read your submission right here and do your grading. Once you come up with your grade, you go ahead and enter in your grade for your student. If they need any feedback, go ahead and enter in that information there and your feedback to user. If you'd like to attach a file back to them, if you wanted to open like a document, let's say, and put a few corrections in there and save it back out, you could go ahead and attach that back to the student. Finally, if you need to add any information that you needed to remind yourself, but information that the student doesn't need to see, you can go ahead and do that in the grading notes. Also, you can attach a file to that area. Now, once you're done, you have a few options. First of all, if you're not done grading and you need to go do something else, you can go ahead and save that as a draft, come back to it later, and finish up your grading. If you're ready just to save and exit, go ahead and save and exit. I'm going to dump you right back into the Grade Center. If you did have a save and next, that would work if multiple students had turned in the assignment, and you can just kind of keep going through all the different assignments that students had uh, turned in. It's a quick way to jump to the next assignment. Save and exit, and there we go. We're going to see that it has been graded at 85 points, and all those exclamation points have now been replaced with that 85 points. If I click Return to Grade Center button, the exclamation is also gone from that area and it's been replaced with 85 grade. So if you needed to go take a look at that assignment again, you could go to that uh, particular cell, click the drop down, and click on view grade details. It's going to open that attempt up and you can view the attempt. And there it is again, so if you need to download that file or look at something else, make any adjustments, you can do that there. And then again hit save and exit. Now one thing that's pretty nice about the uh, Grade Center assignment is the ability to do some assignment collection. So for example, if you go to the column header, assignment number one, and click the drop down, you're going to notice that in the list that you can do an assignment file download. As this feature will give you the ability to take all the students that had turned in their assignment, select which ones you want to go ahead and save out. In this case, there's only one student that's turned it in, so you select that and you hit submit. What that's going to do is going to wrap all those up into a zip and what you can do is download all those assignments by clicking on the link and saving it to your computer. Now all your files will be accessible from within that zip file and you can take them wherever you want on a jump drive or anywhere else and do your grading and then come back in and enter in your grades at a later date or time. And this concludes this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1.